Fifi, Melanie, Shirley, Dottie, where's Sniffles? Uh. <laughs> Here I am, Mrs. Hudson. Got another cold. I took two aspirins, gargled with Listerine, and swabbed my inflamed throat with iodine. Sniffles, you know perfectly well there's nothing really wrong with you. I'm not well. I won't comment on that. However, you had a headache on Monday, a toothache on Tuesday, what you thought was appendicitis yesterday, and now you have a cold. Who knows what you'll have tomorrow? Another excuse to miss class. She can manage to catch a bug. I declare, Sniffles, you manage to attract germs like I manage to attract bugs. Sometimes it's hard to tell them apart. I was speaking or trying to. Yes, ma'am. Because you tie. Don't get shot in her homes. As you know, it is my duty to report to the Dean of Women my personal opinions on your character and behavior. I do this at midterm. That's now. I'm sorry to inform you that I turned in a rather negative report. You, Beta, never attend your studies unless you can play act. You, Melanie, never study at all. Your thoughts are only for... Gentlemen callers, eh? I can speak for myself, Mr. Holmes. Uh, I mean, Shirley. Sniffles, you belong in a hospital, or at least you think you do. And Fifi, I'm afraid your language progress is nil. Nil? What is this nil? But Mrs. Hudson, this will look very bad in the report. Indeed it will. I trust next term I'll be able to write a better report. You know my opinions of you, Shirley. Immature and impressionable. This mania you have for detective work will only get you in trouble. Mark my words, I'm certain the only reason you came to this house was because I have the same name as Sherlock Holmes' housekeeper. What pity our address can't be 221B Baker Street. Holmes considered it something of a tragedy.